All right, guys, welcome to another um, edition, I guess, of the BNA Sports Talk. This is Anthony coming at you, and I okay, I should redo that, but I'm not going to. Uh, this is a uh, new year, new me, and if you're wondering where I've been, the answer is New York, and I didn't bring my laptop, and I was like, oh, I don't need my laptop. Yeah, if I wanted to record these videos, guess what you need? A laptop. Um, so, anyway, uh, today we're going to be talking about Eli Manning since it's his birthday. Happy birthday, Eli Manning. It's your 38th birthday. Who would have thunk that he would have made it this far? Uh, <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to talk about what the Giants should do. So they have a couple options. One is keep Eli and have a successor for him. Another one is draft, uh, get a free agent and bench Eli. It will have two of them fight for the starting job. And the next one is just completely bench Eli and tr- try to trade him, try to get him for picks, and then hope that you get um, a quarterback in the draft. Now, these three options are great. I... I don't like the second one. I don't like getting a free agent, mainly because there's nobody out there good. Let's start off with Teddy Bridgewater. So with Teddy Bridgewater just uh, it just signed with the Saints. Drew Brees is getting old. I think that uh, when the time comes, Bridgewater will be trade bait for a quarterback that will bring them back. That will uh, that would be an easy transition. I don't think Teddy Bridgewater is a quarterback of the future for the Saints, but also don't believe that they'll just give away a third round pick just like that because they just acquired Teddy Bridgewater. So I don't think that. Jacoby Brissett, I don't think he's good enough. I really don't think that he's, um, he'll be just like a lateral move. You want to move up. You want this to be a move where it's like, oh, we're getting better at the quarterback position or potentially we can be better at the quarterback position. Jacoby Brissett, Brissett I, I believe, has already reached his ceiling. And who else is out there? There, There's so many guys, but if you look at all of them, I don't think, like Derek Carr, Blake Bortles, okay, no, we're not mentioning Blake Bortles, or any of these kind of Ryan Fitzpatricks and any team that could get rid of a guy, I don't think, I think Eli Manning is the bridge. I don't think you should bring in another guy and make him the bridge to another guy, because I think Eli Manning would be a good mentor to uh, anybody who comes up. He's the one who knows how to handle Giants football. I mean, he's done it for 15 years. 16 years pretty much flawlessly like when's the last time you heard there's like some controversy about Eli Manning other than that one helmet scandal thing a couple years ago yeah nothing really um he's been kind of silent so what I think so now you have to look forward to the draft um I think the best option is just getting somebody in the draft and have him and Eli kind of fight it out and see who's the better quarterback and have Eli Manning develop him. I think that's the best situation moving forward. Now you have three or four main guys that we can get in the draft. I think um, we shouldn't trade Odell to move up to to San Francisco. Um, that that's I, I think it'll be a good move. But d- honestly, Dave Gettleman is not going to do it. So I'm not going to start uh, hypothesizing different things. But what he said yesterday is Odell is our future. We wouldn't assign him to like 19 million a year if we were just going to trade him the following year. So, that's fair enough. Okay, so now you have Dwayne Haskins, I think Drew Locke, Will Greer, Justin Herbert's not declaring, and so those are like the three main ones. There's another guy out of Duke, but I don't know, he's not really getting high ratings. Dwayne Haskins is the only one top 25. Just imagine Saquon, Dwayne Haskins, and Odell. You have somebody that can move around a little bit, because our offensive line isn't great. But he can kind of deal with it a little bit. You know, he, if he has a little pocket mobility, draft one or two offensive linemen, and you should be good. And as far as other quarterbacks go besides Dwayne Haskins, uh, the Drew Locke and Will Greer, I think there will be good options, especially Drew Locke since he did play in the SEC. And so, so did Eli Manning, so they can kind of bond in that front. They're both products of the SEC, and they know how challenging it is because it is the hardest uh, conference. I'm not biased as a Gator fan, but I remember Drew Locke just torching the Gators. We had one of the best defenses in the league, and you saw that at the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl game, and he, he completely torched our off. It wasn't even close. I was at that game. I was like, who's this guy? <laughs> like, And then I found out it was Drew Locke, and he's one of the top quarterback prospects. Although they didn't win their bowl game, it wasn't really his fault. He'd still put up 35, and uh, yeah, I think Drew Locke would be a good figure. And also Will Greer, since he does have a kid, like Saquon Barkley, they're both married with uh, with children. I think they might uh, gel well together because they relate on that front. But um, I think Dwayne Haskins would just be a safer pick if we can get him, whether you have to trade up or what, whatever's going to happen. I think Dwayne Haskins is the guy for us and um yeah he he reminds me a lot of Deshaun Watson not because of his skin color obviously but um yeah he uh he can run he can kind of make shift the offensive lineman I don't I don't really trust Will Greer or Drew Locke 
um, trying to avoid pressure against our offensive line. I see them more of like there's going to be another Eli Manning where it's, oh, yeah, he needs an offensive line. Well, Dwayne Haskins, they mentioned um, the trailer quarterback and a truck. So a trailer is like an Eli Manning. He needs a lot of weapons beside him, and he can't lift a team. But I believe Dwayne Haskins is more of a a, tra- uh, a truck. He he can tug the um off the truck our offense and you know make our offense better than what it is right now. Now the Giants they also need edge rushers because we get no pressure. Don't let that game at Dallas fool you. They weren't playing any of their offensive linemen, their key offensive linemen. We got some pressure. Our, our defense just sucks. We need to get rid. Of Janoris Jenkins, we need to get rid. You know, the Eli, we already got rid of Eli Apple and um, Damian Harrison. Um, so we also need to get rid of Janoris Jenkins because he doesn't do shit. Keep Alec Ogletree because he's a playmaker. Olivier Vernon, he'll he, he'll stay. You know, because he can't make that many decisions. And I trust Dave Gettleman to draft some edge rushers. Hopefully, somebody could fall down to you. I mean, at a sixth overall pick, we don't have any second or third rounders. I don't think. But if we could. Um, potentially make a trade, move up, and get a second rounder. You get Dwayne Haskins, and then you know the Giants will figure it out. The Giants will figure it out. They they know they know uh, they they they're the one that looks at the film. I believe Eli Manning. I don't care if he starts the first couple games. I don't care if he starts the rest of next season. I just want to have going into twenty twenty a quarterback that's you, you could say, hey, this is our guy. We're going to move on. You know, this guy has potential to be better than Neil Manning. Bring us some Super Bowls. Because if you think, we're not that far away. We still have Sterling Shepard, who we think is overrated. I think we should actually trade him for a second rounder. If we trade him for a second rounder and get an offensive lineman, I'd rather that than Sterling Shepard. Because he, you know, he, everything comes his way, he just drops. Like, unless it's right in his hands. He doesn't make a play. When's the last time you saw him on a highlight reel? Never. Pretty much. He, he doesn't go out there and make plays. You know, he, he's, he's fast. I get it. But he doesn't go out there and make plays. Um, so if you trade a second rounder, get an offensive lineman or defensive rusher, uh, draft Dwayne Haskins in the first round, and then we have so many late round picks that you can try yourself off with some offensive tackles, some defensive rushers. You know, Dave, I trust Dave Gettleman because he had a, we had a pretty good draft this year. Think about it, like Saquon, B.J. Hill, um, we had Will Hernandez, and a couple other picks that they, they turned out pretty well. I mean, they're they're only just rookies, and um, they showed up for us pretty well this year. I mean. I think we did the right job in losing the last couple games, and now we're in a good position for the future. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think below. Should we get rid of Eli Manning? Should we not? Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and tune in tomorrow for another edition of the BNA Sports Talk. All right, see ya.